supposedly people were going in in the middle of the night, like 1, 2 a.m. in Oneana after long nights of drinking. And this is another one of those like drunk foods. It's never going to get old to me. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. We're rolling right into another season of Dairy X Dines. A few weeks ago in an episode, I talked about going to a pizzeria and not actually ordering pizza because I told you I was saving it for something. Well, something finally came. So today, we are actually going to a place called DC's Pizza in Albany. It's actually right outside of the SUNY Albany campus on the Western, Western Avenue side. Washington? No, it, it is Western Avenue. There's something that this pizzeria has that any pizzeria can give you, but they, they know, they're in the know about what this is. And that thing is something called cold cheese pizza. I have family members who own and have owned pizzerias in Oneana. And cold cheese pizza is an Oneana institution. It's a thing that, 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 that's done over there. And basically what it is, they, they take a hot slice of pizza and right as it comes out of the oven, they hit it with a, a fistful of cold cheese. And then they hand it to you and you eat it. Now there's a legend behind this. And, and I actually learned a lot of what, what I found out about this thing, not from my family. Thanks a lot guys for tell not telling me about this years earlier, but from a channel called Healthy Junk Food. I'll put a link to their video in, in the comments below. They're, it's actually a pretty funny story. They, they, these are a couple kids that they went to, to SUNY Oneana. The, the, the young lady, Julia, was actually from, from Saratoga uh, and JP was from Rochester. So it's, it's a local story. Now they're like one of the biggest food channels on YouTube. They make ridiculous stuff. In their video, they visit a place called Tino's Pizza, which is basically the place in Oneana that's known for it. Although other places do make it. There's a place called Sal's right on Main Street, right down the road from, from Tino's that uh, a few years ago, we actually, uh, Cassie and I did, and Noah, did a, uh, a little tour of cold cheese pizza. But I'm rambling and rambling. Go check out their video if you want to learn more about it. I'm going to just head right to DC's Pizza. I'm going to see what else he has there because there's another story I'll tell you about while we're waiting for the pizza. This season is gonna be bigger than ever, so make sure you're subscribed, hit the bell to be notified when the new videos are posted. Hit this video with a thumbs up, guys. The thumbs up makes those videos go out to more people. The more popular they are, the, the more views these things get, the, the bigger in scope this is gonna get, I'm telling you. Leave some comments of places that you need me to check out. All right, enough rambling, let's hit the road. I looked at their menu while I was at my desk for just a minute just to get an idea how to order and I had an idea in my head but there's quite a lot of other things on the menu I think I found something different I'm gonna try one thing that's kind of ridiculous I think I might get it so we're gonna get, go with the cold cheese pizza and one other item So, gotta go with the champagne. They got their, their menu. They got my little chef there, which is funny. They have this sub. It's not even on their menu. Never mind, it's here. It's called the Fry Daddy. Chicken tenders, mozz sticks, french fries, sauce, and cheese. So it's like one of those kind of like uh, New Jersey sandwiches where they just load all the fried crap on it. I had to try it. I've never had a sandwich like that. I, I forget the name of the place that makes those kind of things. I don't, I don't know what it is. But uh, we're gonna have that and we got the cold cheese slice coming. So back in the day, I used to do the all over Albany tournament of pizza. I was one of the judges. And DC is surprisingly, they're really close to the University of Albany. It turns out they're, they make amazing stuff. Yeah, in fact, they make their own sausage in house, which is sausage is one of the easiest things kind of like um, buy from a, a pur purveyor. But they actually make their Italian sausage in house, and we, we noted when we ate that pizza that it was absolutely amazing. So uh, I, I I ranked their pizza really high. I think that year it might have even won or ranked second place or something. I always love coming here occasionally from time to time for a slice and uh, they, they make the cold cheese pizza. So I saw it one day on Instagram. I came in the same day and the guy knew exactly what I was ordering because we follow each other on Instagram. So it's pretty cool, but don't let the proximity to the university ever deter you. You're gonna find your pizzerias that make 
garbage food near near colleges that that's definitely a certainty but dc's is definitely not that kind of place so something to keep in mind if you're ever in the albany area give look them up with the cold cheese pizza because there's a particular reason why this is important so we have it here you can see unmelted cold cheese on top supposedly people were going in in the middle of the night like 1 2 a.m in oneana after long nights of drinking and they were burning their mouth on the pizza so in order to make it so these belligerent drunk people weren't burning their mouths they put cold cheese on top of it so go in for a bite Just like Oneana, I, I always love getting this like because it's never, it never disappoints and it's the oddest thing, but it's so good. It's never gonna get old to me. By the way, there's literally no way I'm finishing all this food right now, so we'll take whatever we got left. We'll have a snack later. It'll be a midnight snack. I am finishing with slice salt. One thing that's easy to forget when you have a slice with all the cheese and sauce and the cold cheese on top of it, DC's actually has really good crust for their pizza. Crust is the foundation, so it needs to be really good. So that I like their crust. It's um, it's the perfect balance of crisp, crispy and kind of spongy. You need that in a crust, so very good. Time for the sub. I'm gonna use my plate from before, why not? Let's we'll start with half, all right? the smaller half, right? It's like basically like a chicken parm with chicken tenders instead of, uh, you know, chicken cutlet, which they're basically the same thing. It's got some mozzarella sticks, some french fries. It's really hot. You can see it's nice and toasty. Beautiful sub roll, actually. All right, we got to do it. That is amazing. The sub roll with the cornmeal on the bottom is a lost art. You almost never see that. This is this is like a Brooklyn style sub. Man, that's good. It's gonna be hard not to finish this thing. But uh so there's mozzarella sticks and there's melted mozzarella on it. I can't, there's no way I can finish this right now. And this is another one of those like drunk foods. This would be fun if you did it with like barbecue sauce or something. Something to keep in mind for the future. One thing I do want to say before we wrap up and go inside. We barely scratched the surface on the menu. I just had one slice of pizza. They have dozens of other pizzas that I want to try there. But there's one thing on the menu. So you've heard of fried Oreos, right? You've been to a fair, you've heard of that. They make deep fried Nutter Butters. I think there's more actually, hold on. I heard them talking about chocolate chip cookies. Let's see here. Now, fried Oreos, fried Nutter Butters. So these deep fried Nutter Butters sound interesting. I, I tell you what, we'll get this video to 50 likes and we'll, we'll go back for the Nutter Butters. So number one, we went to DC's Pizza, check. I told you about the cold cheese pizza, healthy junk food, check. Told you about the tournament of pizza, check. I told you about the DC's Permonti's brothers and I showed you all this food. So you know all this history. Now, here's what you need to do. Hit like down below, thumbs up. Subscribe or I'll tell your favorite pizzeria not to serve you. And while you're, while you're here, check out this video I made that is very similar to this one. I think you're gonna enjoy it. Have a great day. We will see you in the next video and uh, welcome to season two.